guys. Thank you so much for watching Green Couch Convos. Today we have Mandy Johnson from Butterfly Petals. Hi. Welcome. Hi, thanks for having me in one of my favorite spaces here in Phoenix. That's what I like to hear. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, so tell us a little bit about Butterfly Petals. Well, we are a wedding and special event florist, so we specialize in any big event, but primarily weddings. Um, bouquets, boutonnieres, centerpieces, all that good stuff. So um, the way they actually got on our list, and I kind of may have dropped the ball a little bit on this one, but they were being brought here naturally through our clients so often I didn't realize that they weren't on our list. Yeah, we, uh, we got down here quite a bit. We, um, our style's a little on the funkier side. It's a little, I don't really know how to describe it exactly. I hear desert a lot, so I guess desert works but in a classy um, way it's not like the creepy yeah, cowboy we, we don't yes although we do get a lot of corporate requests for creepy cowboy so if mm. you want that <laughs> it's doable totally doable um but no we uh i like textural floral i like a lot of pieces of the desert in my work um i'm also an arizona native a phoenix native and i just i love getting downtown i love the difference the warehouse is so funky compared to a lot of the spaces that we get to for a lot of our traditional weddings and it's great to have a space that offers a lot of creative potential a lot of texture again i keep saying the word texture but i mean exposed brick and concrete and all these things are just really inspirational and it's a cool space and we were getting cooled down here a lot so i'm glad we're yeah. officially official now officially official <laughs> and then um tell me uh, uh like how long have you guys been doing this uh i started butterfly petals out of my tiny little house way back in 2005 so wow. next year it'll be lucky 13 years um, we were home based for a really long time uh, we got our first studio in 2012 we expanded I grew my team and we got our second studio space in 2014 and now we're looking to move again because you so, keep growing yes because we keep growing which, and then like what led you to become a florist I or designer? grew up in my grandma's craft slash wedding flower shop in Globe Arizona uh, she did silk wedding flowers, and I was a little kid, but I thought I was super talented, and I was making boutonnieres and spray painting silk flowers, and I thought I was amazing at it. And I started helping her do setups and stuff as I got a little bit older. And then in college, my parents were like, hey, we supported you through high school. Go get a job. <laughs> I wanted a fun job. I didn't want to have, you know, the Setting standard cubicle. job. So I found a florist that was hiring, and they were hiring... For a cash and carry florist, which means that your job is to basically just sell a dozen rose bouquets okay. all day long. So not a lot of design potential there. And um, I'm a creative person. I got bored, so I started playing in the trash. And my manager was like, okay, if you're going to like make weird Frankenstein creations, I'm going to actually teach you how to design something. Okay. And so he started teaching me a little bit of basic design. And we started getting a lot of requests for proms and weddings after the shop had been open for about a year. And they weren't really set up to do that, and he did not like doing that. And so he asked me if I would kind of fill in the gap there. And did that for a long time. I was getting a degree in journalism. And when I graduated from college, I went off to go be a writer. I did freelancing for a long time. Um, but when my daughter came along, I wanted something that I could kind of control and bring in income. And I was like, well, what the heck else am I good at? And <laughs> I was like, all right, well, Let's I have this, this flower thing. I don't know if it'll go anywhere. Um, but I just started out of my house, had a, I think two bookings my first year and slowly but surely got a little bit of a following and yeah, now you're, we're you're easily crazy. our most popular florist here and we see the most <laughs> we, like, we like hearing that because we like being here it's uh yeah like i mentioned before it's a really cool space so if you haven't been down here yet come on down um and so tell me like a strange funny memorable story of like that really stuck with you well a few years ago um when same-sex marriage was being fought out in arizona um, one of the couples that um, was on the Supreme Court case, uh, they've been together for almost 50 years, and they, they won. They won the right to be married. They won the right to share their love with the world, and we were asked to do flowers for their wedding. And it wasn't just a wedding. It was a big, we're going to welcome all of Phoenix. We're going to welcome all of our supporters. It was okay. at the Orpheum Theater downtown. Oh, and um, I met the couple, Nelda and Karen, and they were amazing, and I connected with them immediately, and I loved them, and so we were happy to do it. And we built this crazy flower wall to go on stage at the Orpheum, and it was meant as a backdrop for their ceremony. 
and it was already a very emotional day because I really just wanted to do this for them and we built this flower wall at the crack of dawn and up there on the stage they closed the big red velvet curtains and it was time for the ceremony and we actually got to go sit in the audience of the Orpheum and watch and I'm sitting there and I'm all kind of choked up because weddings get me choked right. up anyway you, don't get, do the, you do not get tired of it. it it's silly but I yeah it's all mm-hmm. every time I see a bridegroom do their first look I'm like oh I'm so cute um <laughs> but uh these particular ladies I just everything about them I was just so they happy fought for them. so hard for it and it was just amazing and we're sitting there in the audience and these big red velvet curtains open up and there's our flower wall which I was very proud of obviously but people around me in the audience actually gasped and then they started clapping and it was the weirdest thing because I was there for them and their wedding and people are applauding my flower thing and I just I burst into tears I was ugly crying it was just it was a disaster and I'm just like bawling my head off the whole time they're like they're not out yet yeah I think nobody was there and I'm, I'm crying hysterically like box of tissues in my lap like just bawling and people are looking at me like is she gonna be all right like a little, <laughs> a little over emotional so that was a really cool Experience well, yeah, because I don't think you really get to experience often people seeing your work for the first no, time. You get like maybe like the couple. Yeah, we well, get the pictures couple. back, and you know we, we hope that everybody had a good time. But um, it was really special for I mean historic reasons. It was special because I loved them, um, but it was just a really cool experience and to be in the Orpheum downtown. It was yeah, that's an a amazing, great building. Amazing space. It's really beautiful. Yeah. We have a lot of folks do um, from here do their first look on their front leg mm-hmm. area because the photos are yeah, the marquee the marquee yeah, yeah. It's, it's so cool. um so you've been very kind so far but a shameless plug um why would you recommend warehouse 215 to your clients um i think number one as i mentioned it is a very unique space so we're talking if you want that industrial chic vibe this is it's done it's not faked it's not brought in they're not bringing in props to give you that vibe Um, You have the original building, which in Phoenix, nothing is that old, really. I mean, I've been back east. There's old stuff. Um, But it's cool to have any kind of structure that has been built and stood the test of time. And we have original exposed brick in the space. And just you walk around corners, and there's character, and there's little niches and places to really, for me anyway, be creative. Um, We will be revamping our website and we did our headshots down here and did a lot of really fun funky little things in this space um but it's just a really great space for us to design in so really on a selfish side of things i'm like yes get married here so that i can come in and And do cool stuff i always tell people that that like for photographers and and like creative people they get to play here Mm -hmm. where uh, often at other venues if it's a very traditional space they have to fit in a box Yeah. And, and the light is different here depending on what time of year you get married depending on the time of day I've been here in the morning I've been here in the afternoon the light moves it's just it's an amazing space I love it thanks so tell folks how they can get a hold of you like your social media um, tags anything our like that. website is butterflypedals.com um, getting revamped as I mentioned <laughs> um, by me so I can't promise it's gonna be like epic it's gonna be the floral designer trying to do the photos design. will be great the I saw photos will be amazing that that part I can promise you um but uh, butterflypedals.com we're on Instagram um I believe it's just butterfly petals um Facebook butterfly petals AZ um all that stuff's on our website pretty easy to get a hold of we're East Valley based at the moment but could be coming down here soon fingers for crossed a new studio space <laughs> so you know awesome thank you so much for coming yeah, down today for having me. Of course. You guys have a great day. Bye.